Good morning students. I am Vetti Chelvi from Vetti and Vetti Need Chemistry. Today I am going to give the video NTA Apiasri, the part 4 it is. I am giving one labeling of part 4 till part 1, 2, 3 I have completed. 25 questions they are very important on my series is each question I am giving that tips how to approach the question in the examination how to eliminate so such a way time management process I am giving you follow my videos now let us see the next question here question number 26 dissociation constant of acetic acid and ammonium hydroxide is 1.8 into 10 power minus 5 word here you underline it is the each <coughs> at 25 degrees centigrade the equilibrium constant for the reaction of acetic acid and ammonium hydroxide <coughs> will be. So, what is given is dissociation constant for both is given. They are asking the equilibrium constant. Okay. For this, it requires a little or whatever. What is it called teaching? Just to follow the teaching. Now, let us see the <coughs> equation for this one. Acetic acid and ammonium hydroxide equilibrium is given. It is ionized to give acetate ion, ammonium and water. This is the equilibrium reaction is going on in the process. For this only they are asking the equilibrium constant. Generally what is the equilibrium constant formula is product concentration of the products by reactant. So what are the product of here? Acetate, ammonium and water that is here written and the reactants are written. So this is the equilibrium constant for this reaction. Okay, now what I am going to do is to this one, what is included is the, what is it? This is multiplied by H plus ion and OH minus ion, which is given in the pink color. So, no, denominator also multiplied by H plus and OH minus ion. <coughs> what is the purpose of this? To bring the convenient format for that purpose we have, we are doing this multiplication here. Okay, now let us see, let, let me keep it as it is. Now I am going to see the first part. What is the known, well known part is, acetic acid, if you are keeping separate limit, it is, it's a equilibrium constant product by reactant, this is Ka for this one. Next one you take it as ammonium hydroxide product by reactant, this is for Kb. And the next one is called as the ionization of your water product by reactant, this is called ionic product of the water. What is our work is now to compare this thing with the here. Now let me here. You can see children. Just I am marking here. You see here. What is this one? You can compare acetate ion. This is. So instead of this, I am writing a Ka. The same thing you can follow it here. Now this is. What is this is ammonium. So what is this is with Kb. And then what is ionic product of water? You can see here. Ionic product of water is. Ions with the water, water molecules in denominator. Okay, if you are bringing the reverse, water molecules here means I have to write the Kw as a 1 by Kw. Now you can see here, water molecules here and so that means what? Here it is, this everything is equal to 1 by W, that is 1 by Kw, ionic product of water. Combination of this, you are getting this formula. So what is the way you have to approach the formula? I explained everything, just with the knowledge in the examination hall, how you have to approach this. Now we are approaching in the examination hall, because that is the old knowledge. Now let me write the formula is Kw is equal to Ka into Kb divided by Ionic product of water. Substitute. Okay, children. Now here one correction. This is ionic product. Or now this is K equilibrium. This is for the uh, equilibrium constant for the given reaction. Equilibrium constant for the equilibrium constant. Okay, children. Now let us. So this is called as a equilibrium constant versus this reaction. This is for acid, base, and ionic product of water. Now let us substitute our values. Here, what is given is 1.8 into 10 power minus 5. Each is given. So this is for acid, and this is I am writing for a base. In and divided by divided by ionic product of water is constant value. It is known to us 10 power minus 14. Now on cancelling, on cancelling, now it is your minus 5, minus 5, that is minus 10. Here it is cancelling. So what is the answer you are getting is, here it is you are getting is 10 power minus 4. So 1.8 into 1.8 into 10 power minus 4 become the plus 4. So our answer is 
1.8. This is answer. Let us see here the answer. We can say in the C. So this is our option. Okay, formula is simple. Substitution is simple. Only the problem how you are writing is very important. Now let us go to the next question. Which of the given metal is extracted by the amalgamation process? Amalgamation process means we should be with the along with the mercury. So along with the mercury, the metal should be as it is means the indicate knowledge is the among the given metal which is very very less reactive. Among the this is the less reactive metals are copper and silver. Silver is the the slowest metal. So I am taking selecting the silver is the metal which is extracted by amalgamation process. Okay, now we are moving to the next question. The question is. The inactivation of a viral preparation in a chemical bath is found to be a first order reaction. The rate constant for the viral inactivation in the beginning is 1.5 percentage of the what is called virus is inactivated per minute is. Yes. So now the question is what is the processes they are taking is the viral is inactivated in its bath. So what is the time is per minute. It is given as the per minute. That is the 60. What is 1 minute which is equal to how many seconds is 60 seconds. So this is time taken. So initially the rate constant for this. They are asking the rate constant. If the beginning 1.5 percentage viral is inactivated. So 1.5 percentage is reacted. That is that much you have. What is it called? Inactivated. So what is left? Our work is to find out left is. 100 minus 1.5 that is equal to 98.5 this is your left that is our work. Now let us go and write the formula for this one to find out the rate constant. One more very important instruction children the data is given LN 100 by 98.5. So what is the in knowledge is you should write the rate constant formula in terms of LN. So now based on that write the formula K is equal to 1 by T LN of initial initial divided by left. So this is the formula substitute. Let us go to the substitution. Already I told time is converted in terms of the seconds because we are having all our seconds only one is minute. I am going to focus on the second. Okay, now time I am taking as a one minute as a 60 seconds. Yellow now. Initial is 100 because percentage is given. Left is already it is written is 98.5. The simple one is for this the value is given. So based on that let us substitute 1 by 60. Ln value this value is given in this data is into 0 0.01511. So what is our easiest approach is so many times I told here you are having the 60. So what I am going to do is just to follow what how I am approaching is just three digits. So 15 into that is uh, multiplied by 1000 so divide by 1000 divide by 6 I am writing as system I am writing as a for this so this is the trick you have to follow it for convenience. Now what we have to do is we have to divide the 15 by 6 is a very simple one. So now what you are having is 12 then point yes 6 5 okay well answer what you are getting is 2.5 into 10 power this has become my plus 1 is become minus 4. So your answer is 2.5. Don't forget it is the second inverse. 2.5 into 10 power minus 4. Second inverse is the answer. Because already I saw one option with the minute is there. So that only at the time at a glance itself I have noticed it. So that sharpness because the both are having the values are same unit is different. So this is the place where you will do the mistake. Please you have a tagline your eyes should be pinpoint everything. Let us go to the next question. Yes. Consider the following standard electrode potential 
or in uh, this uh, what is it called ions in the aqueous solution element is aluminium aluminium 3 plus ion 1 plus ion based on this data which of the st given statement is correct always first have the knowledge about the question so they are asking to find out the statement is correct and having the glance of the statement or everything is more stable than aluminium 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 okay so now what is the important knowledge is standard electrode potential which is having less is more stable this is the knowledge that is the e not value less is very more stable it is called as it is the knowledge okay so now what i am going to do is before reading everything this i am going to arrange in the electrochemical series in such a manner the high negative on the top so i am putting here high negative minus 1.66 and then write minus 0.34 and then I am writing plus 0.55 and then writing plus 1 plus so in this order you write it electrochemical series order I am writing first one next to your work is write is corresponding ion what is this is given as the aluminium 3 plus is there and then what is zero this is the thallium this is aluminium this is thallium 1 plus and what is this one is called as a aluminium 1 plus so what should be this is the thallium 3 plus so this is the main work you have to do what is the important knowledge arrange it in the order electrochemical series lowest number is the highest number right is corresponding order what is the knowledge which is less is more stable now who is more stable among the all aluminium 3 plus is the high negative so it is the most stable keep it in the mind now let us see the option here this is you need not focus it this is more stable than aluminium plus among the all this is the most stable so the most stable than aluminium by seeing itself all the three are wrong okay now let us see the fourth one thallium 1 plus is more stable than aluminium 1 plus you see thallium 1 plus this is compare with the aluminium 1 plus so this is more than that this is more negative the thallium is more negative than aluminium plus so because of this this is stable and this is thallium 1 plus is more stable than aluminium plus statement is correct Simple knowledge, how to focusing, arranging, bring the answer is the trick. So very, very important question. Let us go to the next question. Here what is I am observing is that is called as a triple bond is there. Here it is called, what is it called as a addition of your water is there. So Marconic rule give the product. Now let us write the equation. The first I am going to write the equation. The first case is we get C triple bond C and C get 3. I have to add the water according to the addition of water follow the Marconic rule. So now first case I am adding here. What is the H plus you add here? OH minus K. Now let me write here P. Children, mercuric with this what is called sulfuric acid is a contribution of water molecule. That one only we are going to add. So that I am focusing only what I want. So water addition according to the Marconic rule, hydrogen attacks on this carbon. Here one knowledge is that both carbon are having no hydrogen. So what carbon they have to select is, I am going in this direction in such a manner. Here you are giving the hydrogen. So pH, that is called phenyl group, carbon, double bond, carbon and you put the CH3 here. I am writing here the hydrogen as I have written. So after adding the hydrogen, there is the formation of your here, here hydrogen you are adding it, it is moving on this direction that is on minor so now formation of carbocation here it is the very very important knowledge because of the resonance on this one the carbocation is stable so the reaction is taking in this direction reason is stability of carbocation due to resonance so this way it is following okay what is the next one is you have to add here the what is it remove one bond and break add water here that is OH here now I am writing pH C single bond C again CH3 this hydrogen you are writing and here you are writing OH okay children now this is your work is there of course okay children now okay now what is our next work is now our next work is this is in our form this is okay children 
here the first step addition of water oh here and h here because of the carbocation stabilized by resonance so why here it is this is the form you can see here this one now what is this is labeled as we know it is a very famous form that is called enol form which is not stable okay next we can see here we is going to take the keto it is converted into the keto form we know of course so what is happening is in between the carbon whenever going to the keto you not automation you will give the number in so now the hydrogen is removing from here and it is hydrogen is going to move here that bond is shifting here this bond is this one shifting okay and this bond is going on the carbon atom as a minus charge for the minus charge only is coming so this is your well known knowledge that is the keto enol tautomerism from that now what is the product we are getting is now let me write the product ph c the bond is shifted here so double bond o and the double bond is become single bond and is moving there so it becomes ch2 and here it is ch3 so this is your product so now you can see my answer with the option a this is that is called c double bond o ch2 ch3 this is the answer so it is a keto enol tautomerism very very important question based on this reagent definitely we can expect one question okay this is very good question now we are moving to the next one is molecular weight of an organic acid is here the point we have to note is called as a organic acid they are also asking the molecular weight so before just to have a glance of option related with the equivalent weight so what is the relationship between equivalent weight and molecular weight is the formula is what is the formula is usually we know equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight divided by the n factor usually in the n factor in the case of hasen the n factor is called as a basis team so now they are asking molecular weight so molecular weight they are asking mean bring the basicity on the next side so formula is equivalent weight into basicity now our option is equivalent weight into basicity is our option equivalent weight into valency is not correct answer because valency is different from basicity 